Let's speak Korean. 제 81회 두 명밖에 안 왔어. 안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host Lisa Kelly and today is our 81st episode and today's main expression is 두 명밖에 안 왔어, which means only two people are here so far. Okay, but we actually have many other people in the studio here. We have May and Young, four people. Hello, Steve. 안녕하세요. I'm Stephen Revere. Thank you all for being with the four of us today. Mm -hmm. you, you just heard Myung. That is how Koreans count people. You know, there's counters, different counters for different things. And in this episode, we're going to go over how you count people. 옆에 두 명이 있습니다. 안녕하세요, 네오미입니다. Actually, today I got my new partner. Yes. So, how are you? Yeah, 안녕하세요. 나는 마틴입니다. I'm studying Korean language actually at Seoul National University mm. and I arrived here four months ago. So, nice to meet you. Wow. Welcome yeah. to Korea, And, and yeah, you're from you. Germany, I hear, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Would you like to say hello to your family and friends? In German, okay, ready? <laughs> well, it's, uh, maybe you cannot hear me, but... Hallo alle zusammen, ich komme aus Deutschland und grüße euch sehr und falls ihr mich sehen könnt, dann ein Hallo nach Deutschland. That sounds nice. really oh. long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Let's get started with our lesson in Let's Do It. Let's do it! 모두 다 왔지? 아직 두 명밖에 안 왔어. Okay, the first expression we just heard was 모두 다 왔지? Okay, 모두 다 왔지? Is everyone there? Is everyone here? Is everyone present? And uh, we can say this in the honorific form by saying 모두 다 왔지요 or 왔죠. And I think the thing that will strike most people as a little bit strange is... I know, I know what you're going to say. Why are we saying everybody twice? Yes, yeah. yeah, she got it. That's right. You're mm -hmm. saying it twice. Mm -hmm. 모두, we all know, is all mm -hmm. and ta is all. all. So why are you saying all twice? You could say 모두 왔죠 or mm -hmm. you could say 다 왔죠. Both are okay but it's also okay to say 모두 다 왔지 which right. is the low form. It's not strange at all. It's just stressing the fact that is everyone here yet? Right. And then do you want to try that out? 모두 다 왔죠? 모두 다 왔죠? 모두 다 왔죠? And you've heard, you've heard both at this point, G, 모두 다 왔지, and 모두 다 왔죠. Which one is the high form? Of course, the one ending in the O, right? Mm -hmm. Jo. That's the high form. Low form is G. Good. And then the response to that, okay, we're going to the countables, okay? And when we're referring to people, we want to say 명. Keep that in mind, okay? And the answer was 아직 두 명밖에 안 왔어. Now, you know you got to count people with myung. That's mm -hmm. okay. That's not a problem, right? Hey, okay, we count people with myung. Now, what becomes a challenge here is pake anwaso. Mm. Now, that's going to be difficult. It's a it, what it really means, it's the same thing as the other one that we used that's similar to this is man, okay? Only. It's kind of like saying only, okay? Tu myung pake anwaso and it's a little bit negative. So, when you put uh tu myung, you've got two people and then you must add a negative to that. Anwaso. That's a neg the negative is an. Sometimes you will also use it with mot. Okay. Kugo pake moteso. I couldn't do anything but that is what right. you're saying. Okay. And keep in mind when you're using blank pake opta, like Stephen said, it is negative, and you can only use it in two different situations. The first one is if you have too little of something, or in this situation, people. Or you're rushed in time-wise. You're, you're in a rush or you don't have enough time. So keep those two rules in mind. You can only use it in those instances. Like right now, for instance, you know, we only have 10 minutes. Uh. It's a big problem with the show sometimes. Okay. It's, ah, 10 분 밖에 없어요. Ah, it really becomes a problem sometimes. We have so much to teach. 10 분 밖에 없어요. Right, and 아직 means yet or thus far, and in this situation we're saying only two people have showed up so far. Okay, let's try this out. 아직 두 명밖에 안 왔어. 아직 두 명밖에 안 왔어. 아직 두 명밖에 안 왔어요. Mm, Stephen, 어제 숙제 다 했어? Ah, uh, 숙제 아직 다 못했어. Mm, uh, right. 아직, right? Haven't done right. it yet. 근데 할 거예요. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't worry. Mm. All right. Do you want to try asking each other something? Mm. 
한국어 숙제 다 했어? 안지 아직 괜찮아 내가 쪼개 내가 쪼개 뭐해? 아직 아직 못 했어. Good. 어? 아직 못 했어. Very good. good. And Stephen, is 어. that another sesame stick I see in your hand? 또 응. 먹어? Sesame stick. 또 먹어? 아니 두 개밖에 안 먹었는데. Like two boxes, two maybe. Two boxes. <laughs> okay, we 아니에요. heard Stephen say, "I've only two. eaten two boxes so far." Two gay, only two. <laughs> no. Bad translation. All oh. right, whatever. Okay, do you want to try something else? I, here's one for you. I okay. got, I got one. Uh, how about, how would you say, "I only have uh, three cups"? Here we go. We got four people and three cups. How would you say, "I only have three cups"? 어, 그렇죠. 아마 카프는 세 uh? 개밖에 없어요. 컵세 개밖에 없어요. Yes, good. only have okay. three cups. Very mm-hmm. good. And how? What if you wanted to say, uh, I only have uh, five pages in my script, right? I only uh. have five pages. Uh? Uh, 종이 오 개밖에 없어요. Okay, o g a It's not. It's going to be t a s t Of course, you have to say. You have to use the. Uh, Pure Korean numbers uh, when you're counting in this way, and then you also have to make sure and say "jang" when you're counting pages. t a s e j a n g p a k y o p s e t a s e j a n g p a k y o p s e Yes, "jang" is how you count paper. Very mm. good. Let's head over to wrap it up. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. j a j a n g m y e o n h a n g e o l d o j u s e y o 스티븐, 또 먹어? 한 그릇밖에 안 먹었어. 세 그릇도 먹을 수 있어. One of the dishes that we can find in the Chinese restaurant is 짜장면. But did you know that they don't have 짜장면 in China? It's actually a Korean dish. Oh. Yeah, and everybody thinks it's Chinese, but it's actually Korean. It's very delicious, very... Cheap, mm-hmm. and one thing that you want to notice is you hear lots of Koreans. They'll say jajangmyeon, jajangmyeon, but actually the real pronunciation is jajangmyeon. And spelling, right? right? The actual spell, and it's a wonderful noodles, like spaghetti noodles almost with black sauce. You know, noodles are from Asia anyway. Anyway, mm-hmm. here we everybody thinks they're from Italy. Sorry, <laughs> no, they're not. They're not from Italy. Okay, they're, uh, and we hear this sentence: "Han g u r u b a k e an m o g o s o Okay, we're counting bowls here with mm. this word. k u r u And let's say g u d it is very difficult to pronounce. Right. g u d it. Okay. You've got that vowel u uh, that's very difficult to pronounce in English. English. g u d it for those of us who speak other languages. u uh. Now let's say you wanted to make it into the subject of a sentence. Okay. Let's say there are no dishes. How would you say that? g u d i s h i o p s a y o Right. Very good. Don't forget that s p a c h i m at the bottom of g u d it. Needs to move up in front of e, so you would say "good is she up so right." Nice job. All Thank right, you. all right. One last review. Let's try to use the form p a k e up so or p a k e using p a k e Remember, you have to use it in the negative. Uh, Naomi, uh, you only have two earrings. Hmm. 귀걸이가 두 개밖에 없어. Oh, poor <laughs> Naomi. And Martin, uh, I only have three girlfriends. <laughs> okay, very good. And don't forget, you don't want to drag out your words too much in Korean. It's actually a very um, what do you, ha, a crisp language. Not I think. so much intonation yeah. and stressing as there is in a lot of European languages, including German. So you don't want to do 여자 친구 는 just go 여자 친구 는 세명 밖에 없어. Right? You kind of stressed a little bit too much on the 는, but that was good. All right, and of course, each guy's at least got to have ten uh, girlfriends, <laughs> like Steve. I mean, you can't have three. Lies, <laughs> lies, lies! I swear, you're gonna get me in trouble. The people are actually gonna think you're telling the truth here. Well, I am. Thank you for joining us here at Let's Speak Korean. Please come back next time. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bye bye. Bye everybody. Bye.